All right, what's going on, everybody? Brian back with another blurry camera. Let me fix that really quick. How's everybody doing today? We're going to be continuing our playthrough of Data K2 Heartland. I'll turn that off. Apply. Okay. And we should. But how is everybody doing? Uh, before we get started, I wanted to show you guys. Undead Labs uh, sent me a present in the mail, which was awesome of them uh, for, you know, being a content creator and supporting the game. They sent me an anniversary shirt. I'll show you guys. It's got like a feral on it. Yes, you know, their four year anniversary shirt. Uh, I think one of these sides. It's got the State of K2 logo on the front. Is there a logo on the back somewhere, babe? Uh, it's got the State of K2 logo on the side. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so I do want to thank Undead Labs. Uh, I, I really do appreciate you guys, you know, supporting me, showing some love. So, yes, here we are, guys. We are back with some more Heartland. Um, I wanted to give it a proper playthrough, especially on the beta, because the new infestation system, like I told you guys uh, last episode, is um, it, it is active in Heartland. And we've already had to go around and take care of some infestations that we had in Spencer's Mill, which uh, was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Continue. Gotta get. Uh, we're gonna get it. I'm gonna get my bearings get figured out. But we'll be doing a couple streams today. I got some stuff planned. Um, we'll see how 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 the day goes. Sorry, I didn't stream last night though. I uh, had a lot of BS that we were trying to deal with last night. So. Captain Logan. I know everybody in this valley, but I've never heard that voice before. Be careful, okay? All right. Cameron, how you doing? All right. So that is um Captain Logan. Resource-wise, we are good to go. Let me switch over to uh Keisha. We get her geared up. That's a really, really nice gun they have here. I'm gonna try to get all the people D majors. Yep, for sure, brother. Definitely gonna try to get everybody. All right, so we don't have any other eight slots right now. It's fine. <clears throat> I'm going to throw that professional suppressor on there. Well, we'll... That's so what five pounds is five pounds. We'll just leave her with the wrench. It's not a bad weapon at all. Got a couple extra handguns. Give her one of these. Actually, we'll give her the one without the scope. Song is this from State of K1, isn't it? I remember from uh, when we were just playing uh, not too long ago. Eldritch, how have you been, David? I'm doing I'm doing a little better, brother. Doing a little better, man. Obviously, you know things could be better, but it is what it is. All right, so um, should we go over in? Talk with Captain Logan. And this has got to be the largest base I've ever seen. I don't think we need to use Quincy for this mission. I don't believe. Yeah, yeah, we don't have to. But we will grab. Uh, who should we grab to go with us? There's Quincy up there. Um, or should we go solo? What do you guys think? Should we grab a partner to come with us? It's a very interesting mission right here. 
I'm June at least. Thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it. Welcome. Dremon, how you doing? Oh uh, no, so this, yeah, I just I just topped it off, uh, Mikus. Yeah, it, it, it's a 30 round mag. 30 round mag. I'll actually throw the break on this handgun and because I know what we're going to be getting ourselves into, I actually am going to swap. What we're going to do is we're going to take the suppressor off of this, take the break off of this. I'll have my primary weapon have the uh, the the main weapon here. I'll have that have the break on it just in case I need to do some, some big damage, which I'm probably going to have to do here. Ooh, we could bring this with us, actually. For those of you guys who played Heartland, you know what we're about to get ourselves into. So that's why... I'm kind of thinking about bringing some heavy ordnance, just for shits and giggles. Alari, how I am doing pretty good, um, but because I am gonna get into it, you know what? We'll just we'll just go solo. Get some extra ammo. All right, let's do it. Let's go meet up with Captain Logan. Hmm. We'll, we'll bring we'll bring this. Grab some gas. So we're holed up in a dinosaur-themed truck stop, fighting the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> What's next? Yeah, you can't change the map on on this one, not at all. But um, it's like its own special story. That so, but there is the Trumbull Valley map out now that you can play and change and move around and stuff like that and have a a full-blown community. Oh, God, this car has a little get up and go, doesn't it? All right. So it is night. Pretty dark outside. Stay vigilant. I think it's a left turn up here. Brings us into the farm. Yep, here we go. We've got some zombies we'll have to deal with. About four. There you go, Keisha. Let him know. Hey there. Thanks for coming out to meet with me. I just need you to make a quick pickup for me. I promise it's worth your time. We'll ask him. Well, actually, let's say, hold on. Sorry. Classified. Oh. I just need you to make a quick pickup for me. Normally I would, but I got a bit roughed up. I need to stay here for now. I just need you to make a quick pickup for me. Great. Here's the deal. DNA, hey, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. That's something I need. Come here, what's up, brother? If you bring back the encrypted note and that supply drop, you can keep whatever else you find. Got it. Now, there's a very, very good gun in this supply drop, actually. Not that we need it, because we're, you know, we're sitting pretty with the weapons I've, we have currently. Um, but I am going to throw on a heavy... I got this M203 standalone grenade launcher. Uh, the only problem with these is they do take a little bit to reload, and they only shoot one round. So if you do want to use grenade launchers in game, I'd advise you to use, like, the 12 round. There's a... There's a a BML, and that that one holds twelve rounds, I believe. And then there's the six round um, grenade launcher, and those ones are pretty decent. Obviously, they're they're grenade launchers, so they're loud, but um, they're pretty effective against juggernauts. I believe it only takes a couple grenades. To uh, take out a jug, I think two to kill a feral. 
Eric, how are you doing? Yes, uh, Mill, so that is a bug. There is still a bug uh, where you use scent block and stuff like that, and you can still give a Blood Plague Survivor um, uh, plague damage, but that was an oversight from the de developers because Blood Plague Survivor trait existed before plague consumables and then they kind of forgot about the trait uh jeffrey talked about it on stream one time they kind of forgot about the trait so when they started implementing all of these new um plague consumables and things like that they didn't think back like oh how will this affect the blood plague survivor trait because it's a very rare thing not a lot of people have it so it was kind of an oversight um and yes the plague consumables will still affect them uh, i don't know if they said they were ever going to patch it um but I know the devs were aware of it. This is definitely the right place. I can feel it. The juggernauts right there. So we're going to lob a couple grenades at him. Now, the cool thing about the grenades is it makes noise when you launch the grenade, but then the explosion uh, is where the zombies actually get attracted to. So, yes, if there's zombies behind you and they're coming towards the explosion, they're still going to run into you. But the cool thing about a grenade launcher is it doesn't get you in as much trouble as you would think unless you're literally shooting the grenades right around you. But if you're whipping them a good distance away, um, the zombies actually will go over there. You can see, uh, I don't think anything's going to come from behind us. Another grenade right there. Good hit. Blake, how you doing? I rarely use these things because the ammo is so expensive. Looks like I'm dry on ammo. There it is. When you said we'd encounter resistance, I didn't think you meant a juggernaut. Yeah, sorry about that. Still that in the trunk. I'm glad you're still with us. So, as you guys can see, the grenade launchers are pretty decent. I just never use them. They're, I don't know, I feel like they're kind of overkill. On top of the fact that the ammo is very expensive to craft. And it's just rare. The ammo is very, very rare. Boom! Dude. With the super chat, man. Hey, bro. Uh, did you know that the Army and the Marines have adopted a rifle to replace the M4? Ooh, it's the, it, it is the M5 with a 6.85. Wow, that's, okay, that's a pretty damn good caliber around right there. It's a six hour. I got the count. Ooh, I'm, I'm going to have to look at the M5. Do, do they have the pictures of what the weapon actually looks like, Palm? That's sick, man, because yeah, they've been using that rifle for a very long time. I didn't mind the M4s. They're, they're all right. Um, they're just very, very picky weapons. So this is the gun we got here. This is the M4X1 DMR Heavy. As you guys can see, very awesome gun. Comes with an advanced suppressor on it. Has a nice long-range scope on it. Uh, has... Two different firing modes because it's the DMR rifle. It's not the... So you don't got full auto, but full auto doesn't matter. You get three-round burst, which is pretty good for bursting down jugs and stuff like that. And then you have your single fire, which is, you know, the main rate of fire I generally use. Well, Palm again, brother. Thank you so much, man. Uh, it's very similar to the AR-10. I got to look at that, man. That's that's really cool. Only thing is it's going to take them, like, like, legit 15 years to transition fully over to him uh i remember when i joined in 2000 and i joined in 2006 and the, the the marine corps was actually in the process of phasing out the m16a2 which is the m16 with the plastic handguards they were actually in the process of phasing that out for the m16a4 and um when i got to the fleet they were probably like 70 percent through phasing out the old uh, A2s, a lot of the logistic uh, units and non-infantry units, they all had the um, the standard M16A2 plastic handguards, single fire, whatnot. Um, but most of the infantry guys, we all had A4s. 
And then I would I got on my first deployment to Iraq in 2008. I was in I was in my unit for like six months, and then we transitioned from the M16A4s to the M4. They wanted to get rid of the long barrels. The, they wanted the more compact, you know, CQC weapons. Uh, so we started transitioning over to the M4s. And the way that worked is the only people that had M4s were people who were deploying. And I want to say it was probably 20, that was in 20, 2008 when they started transitioning over to the M4. And um, I want to say it was probably 2013, 2014 uh, before they fully transitioned over to the M4. And then on top of that, they then they started transitioning to the fully automatic uh, M4s, and um, that was done a little differently because we kept the same rifles. We just had to send them out to get modified, and uh, I don't know. They're probably still doing that to this day, modifying all the M4s. But now they're switching over to a new weapon completely. But it does in the military, guys. It takes a very long time to phase. Out old equipment that that goes for uniforms, weapons, all that type of stuff. It takes years and years and years to um to phase out the old stuff for the new. Shit, a uniform transition to go from ACUs to for the army to go from ACUs to um multicam. It, it was like four year transition, and that's just to switch uniforms. It does seem like a pretty expensive ammo palm for sure. You have the encrypted note? All yours, boss. You've done a great service today. I can't go into details at this time, but someday, all of Trumbull Valley will thank you for this. That's all for now. I'll be in touch later if it's required. Be it, safe out there. Exactly, Airborne, dude. I guess. All right, so we just did... A, a, a mission for a random military guy in a barn. And I don't trust him. But we got some pretty good equipment out of it. You know what I mean? We went and picked up an airdrop for him. We should have read the letter. I should have read the fucking letter. Um, we didn't read the letter, so... I think it was encrypted anyway, so... I don't think we would have got anything out of it. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we'll drop that in there. Um... We're going to go loot out this barn really quick, see if there's anything in that safe. Yeah, Casper, you ain't lying, brother. They really do try to get their money's worth, man. Uh, especially the Marine Corps, dude. Uh, they they milk it. They milk it. Uh, I don't know if I've told you guys this story, but um, we were getting ready to deploy to Afghanistan. Here. here we go. And my... Uh, my gunnery sergeant, because we had went to Iraq, and we had these crappy radios. I mean, they were really, really crappy. And um, we were spinning up for Afghanistan, and we were getting our radios. I mean, you know, literally our, our, our hand mics all taped together. Like, they were bullshit. Um, we, we had – there was so much just tape and, you know, stuff holding these radios together. You know, we would have, like, one hand mic that worked out of, like, seven radios. And um, – our, our, my gunny came one day, and he was like, guys, I got good news. I need you to get a, you know, a working party together. We're going to head down um, down to the port. We got a whole bunch of new radios and equipment and all this stuff coming in for deployment. So we're like, hell yes. We're getting new radios. Um, they were going to spin us up on how to use them. And I'm excited, you know what I mean? Because radios, you know, having good uh, – we had, like, our little portable um, – radios that connect to like our little this little thing that you wear on us it's like this little it, it was super high speed we were really really excited um so we get down to port and uh we open up the container not we're going through we're pulling it all out and oh my friend you have to help hell yeah okay we're gonna we're gonna help him out so ray and santos just they came they to our turn? base Leading a horde of zombies to me. Uh, but yeah, we got down to the port, pulling these radios out the containers, and we're looking at these things, and we're like, man, th these these are not new. Like, these radios are, are not new. They're all chipped up. Some of the hand mics are cracked up. The, the wires are frayed. Um, but they, they were newer than what we had, and they were a different style of radio. I think we went from 112s, and these were like 114s or something like that. 
And um, so we're looking at these radios and we're like, yo, these aren't new. Like, you know, some of the buttons are missing. Uh, but for the most part, like I said, they were better than what we had. And uh, I looked at my gunny and I was like, gunny. I was like, man, these, 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 these radios aren't new. And you know what that motherfucker said? He looked at me. He said, they're new to you. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. They were hand-me-down radios. Uh, the R uh, There were some Army units that had upgraded their radios, and the Marine Corps went and bought these radios from you know the Army or whatever, got, acquired them, um, and then they, they started handing them out. So, yeah, we got hand-me-down radios, uh, but they, they, were, they were new to me. But it was all good. When we got in the country, um, we ended up getting some new radios out there, too. Fuck, dude. Three-minute siege. Feral. Great, literally brought this on us, guys. Look alive, people. This isn't over. Catch you later. Take care, babe. Larry, your weapon was a Galil AR. Dram and Ivy donated fifty dollars. Have to tie the Overlord. Dram, thank you so much. You did not have to do that. Oh, guys, I forgot to mention. Um, I don't know how Dram did it, but um, I've actually disabled um PayPal donations for now. Oh, we're having some issues that we're trying to work through. Um, so. If you guys do want to do any type of donations or anything like that, you can just do them here through YouTube. Uh, got a bunch of drama and crap we're trying to work through right now. Um, but obviously you didn't know, Draymond, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Dramon, that is huge. I really do appreciate it. Holy shit. Man, this, is a, this is a real siege, man. Ray really wanted to kill us. I'm out of gas. Hold tight. We're gonna win this one. Disease may have trashed our home, but at least we're all still here to rebuild. Take comfort that you still have a home at all, my friend. What do you mean, Ray? That's not something you say, dude. didn't get any of us killed. How do you come to my house, drag a bunch of zombies, and be like, oh, be lucky? You No, dude. That's not how this works. YouTube does take a big cup. Uh, like I said, we got we got a um, I got a lot of uh, drama and issues going on right now with my uh, PayPal system. Uh, we have a viewer that's causing a lot of heartache for us right now. I'm not gonna get into the details or anything. Just know that it's we're working on it. We're trying to get it taken care of. Kind of that's why I didn't end up streaming last night. Kind of blindsided us uh, that this is even happening. But uh, we're getting it taken care of. But for now, I'm 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 a uh, I disabled all my uh, PayPal stuff.
You really proved yourself today. Thank you, my friend. We'll find somewhere nearby to live for the time being. Oh, yeah, Ray. Take care, my friend. This valley grows more deadly every day. Nemo, what's going on? Hey there, trouble. All right, so that went... All right. Could have went better. Let me see. Do we have the ability to craft... So we just need water. And we can craft energy drinks. They... Okay. Um, you know what? Let's go and install a rain collector. That will get us some water. Until we can get the utility complex, that's what we're going to have to do. Um, get some better uh, consumable or stamina items. Nick T, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. So I was thinking about coming and taking out this play cart here in the city. Um, just so it will stop with the infestations for now. So it's pretty pricey, but we get six C4. This has gotta be the largest base I've ever seen. And that will make clearing out play carts relatively easy. So we'll do one batch of those. Let me see if I have any extra weapons and stuff that we can scrap. Yeah, like this. We'll scrap that. Scrap that. Mm, we'll keep the 22. It's the only 22 I have right now. Let's grab one of those. All right. And once again, we'll send Keisha out. She can deal with it. Yes, yeah, nor is there done. I know we are very, very close to 39,000 guys. I think we were at, uh, I was like 30 subs away from it earlier, um, which is crazy. So I do want to tell you guys, I really appreciate that. All right, so we're going to bring a couple C4. I'll bring a plague cure and some Molotovs and a couple extra stacks of ammunition. And we should be good to go uh, take down this plague cart. Cindy, how you doing? Mm, we're gonna let's bring my bigger vehicle, so we can uh, my band grab some loot. Trevin, no, you didn't have. Seriously, thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. It, it, it was fine. I really appreciate you. Why? With the huge super chat. Let's get some hearts in the chat, guys. Jam, she's out here showing mega love. And, well, oh, guys, we just started and we're already over 100 likes. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Christopher with the sub. Welcome. Isaac, come in. Oh, here we go. This I feel like you can hear me. Getting some good missions here. Please respond if you can. I just, I just want to know you're alive. And that I'm not alone. Now, I believe Isaac is the one that we want to recruit. He's the better one of the two. From what I remembered. Way too many plague zombies in this part of town. Jaren, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. So, the one thing I just realized about Heartland um, is there's no plague territory. So, the infestation system affects Heartland, but Plague Territory does not. Um, as you guys can see, I can claim any of these as outposts.
Um, Sam, how do I do that? I would love to glitch and get them both. Cindy! Well, welcome. This place is disgusting. All right, so we're going to do this nice and quiet like. Uh, it's a good thing about C4. You can set it and forget it. Literally just set it, um, move out. And I, I, you can use this in the, in the main game too. Uh, if you have a stealth character, it, it, it makes C4 very, very powerful. Awesome. So we got a ring collector. Let's actually get that turned on. Okay, so you, you get one, and then before you take the first one to base, you accept the Major's mission. Okay, yeah, let me let me know, cause yeah, I'll definitely I'll definitely try to do it. All right, and then literally just come over here. We hit it. They let the zombies all make their way over there. These guys already lost interest. There's a lot of zombies in here right now. So we're just going to kind of bunch up, throw this Molotov in there. And it's going to do a lot of damage to the play cart. It is. This one's down. What a relief. It's a relatively easy clear there. Oh, a Mac 10. That's actually a pretty good sidearm. It's, I think it's the sidearm in the game that has the, holds the most ammo. Swap over to this eight better. slot. Grab that. Now, where am I going to put that? Let's go. Uh, bring roll the car up. We'll fill it up. What is my favorite gun? Hmm. I, I really don't have a favorite, to be honest with you guys. I just kind of like my favorite gun is the gun I have ammo for. Believe, as hard as it is to believe that I don't have like a specific gun that I'm like yo this is just like my go to there's a couple guns that I'm you know I, I like to use more than others but remember me I hear you folks have been poking around and might have a few questions if you're ready for answers how about we meet up hang in there I'm coming to you now I'm glad you've retaken your home my friend now could you help us do the same Okay, so Ray also needs help clearing out a play card on his end. I'd say it's about time we got some answers. Oh yeah, I'm in. There is no way we're leaving them out in the cold. Run this stuff over to our outpost. Okay, I'll try that out. Now, Sam, are, the, are you talking about the, the mission that just popped up right here? Um, where Captain Logan wants us to go meet up with him? So there, I guess there's... A, cause, so usually in the base heartland, um, there's two survivors you have to choose from. There's uh, Isaac and Vic. And... Um, uh, Sam's in chat saying, you know, there's a way to get both of them. So that's what we're going to try to do because I've never got both of them before. And it would be cool to, uh, to do that. Huh. 
I'm out of gas. I love the melee system in State of K. They were actually talking about this on their live stream the other day. Um about the melee system and uh, and I think State of Decay has one of the best melee systems in like all of the zombie survival games out there. I was trying to think of one that might have one that's better, but like if you look at Days Gone, that melee system is very very generic. Um DayZ, like all of those they're they're all terrible, you know what I mean? Very very generic melee systems. Um I'm a huge fan of State of Decay's melee system though. It, it's my favorite. Dump all this. Oh, now we can craft up some energy drinks here. Okay, so that's a good start. I don't want to eat too much into my supplies. So we got some energy drinks. We'll bring in an extra stack of bullets. And we'll go do this Isaac and Vic mission. Or should I? I was gonna say, or should I go meet up with Ray Santos and help him clear out his shop? Not, you know what? Ray can wait. Ray can wait. To hear someone in pain. I'm gonna track that guy down. David, how have you been, brother? Look at the plague just overrunning the everything. Give you a zombie game with the Arkham City melee system. <laughs> Kill everything. Henry, hey, I, 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 I turned over a new leaf. All right. I've turned over a new leaf when it comes to my driving. I I bet you guys can't even tell me when's the last time you even seen me blow up a car, huh? I used to go from blowing up a car multiple. So this area is actually really really different in the Trouble Vet map. The army came in here and built really really built this area up. There's a this is where the base actually is, the starter base. They built it up and built a little base there. Now he shoots dogs. Went from crashing cars to shooting dogs. Sunday will have nice clothes again. Gotta keep the faith. What my damn trash? How do you remember, bro? Like, dude, I remember the last time you blew up your car when your SUV blew up outside the gun store. Yeah, that was, uh, I think it was the other day, wasn't it? Here we go. I think it's just one zombie on us. Very, very chill. Nothing in the, the area. I'm so used to coming down here on the, on the main Trumbull map, and this place is just infested with plague territory. There's freaking, it's, it's nasty down here. Honestly, it's really not that bad. Yet. And starves the elder. Oh my god. Sounds like you lost somebody. Do you need help? You do that for me? For us? Thank you. I haven't seen my husband Isaac in weeks. Can you help find him? I can. I can. So Vic is the paramedic, okay? I haven't seen my husband Isaac and we lost Let's our go daughter find him. and he took it really hard. I'm uh, I'm afraid he might have hurt himself. I just want Isaac to know that I forgive him. I'll tell you a few places to look. He's been avoiding me, but maybe you'll be able to get close. He's is out here doing putting it work for the community, guys. Isaac, I appreciate you doing this for us. 
He's just out here putting in work, guys. Right? Another broken over there. That's just a normal broken. Zombies. I guess they aren't here. Okay, I've looked around here, but I don't see any signs of Isaac. Thank you for the update. Isaac just can't understand that I don't blame him for our daughter's death. Bless you. We taught her together how to survive out here. Bless you. It's not his fault she got sick. Yeah, I wonder if she got like the blood plague. Searched this place, but no luck. I'll keep looking. I appreciate this. When our daughter got sick, Isaac did everything he could to save her. It's not his fault that we ran out of time. I know that. But sometimes I'm not sure he does. There he is. Please, I just want to be alone right now. What can I say to make you leave? Of course he's worried. He's always worried. I'm the one who got our daughter killed, and all he wants to do is talk about it. I can't live with his suffering anymore. Please, just tell him I'm dead. It'll be a mercy to both of us. Have you told Vic that I'm dead? Take care. Okay, so we'll go tell him he's dead. Come back, recruit Isaac. And we'll go straight to the mission. Slightly unfortunate. Uh, I don't have a whole lot sure is quiet in, in my arsenal to deal with a jug. Okay, folks, this new outpost is fixed up. Where the hell's my rifle at? Thanks. Too loud. I was trying to find that DMR. I don't know where it is.
So that gun probably took... Man, it, it really didn't take as much of a beating as I thought it was going to take. It wasn't too bad. A couple parts on it. Grout, when you're not using suppressors on guns, uh, they really don't break down as much. That was a pretty big ammo sink right there, Caspi, for sure, brother. If we had a higher caliber, we would have been able to take them out a little more efficiently, but... All right, so Vic... Have you had any luck finding Isaac? I didn't want to believe this could be true. Everything I loved... It's all gone. There's nothing left for me here. But maybe I can start fresh somewhere else. Thanks for your help. You're uh you're a good person. Wait, there's rare loot cases in um Heartland? I don't know the location of them here. I I know where a couple are on the regular Trumbull map, but I don't know about the the Heartland map. Because I, I could have meleeed them, Caspi. The problem with melee and plague juggies is they're a little buggy. Ooh. Hey, if you've been listening out there, if a station horde. So that, that was an infestation horde. I, Maybe I should have told him the truth. No, no, no. That's not what I, Isaac wanted. Oh, uh, wait. I pretty much... I I have quite a few guns, man. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't say... On my main community, I wouldn't say I have the rarest guns. There's still a couple I'm trying to collect. Uh, there's one I don't even have still. I still have not got myself a Dragonoff sniper rifle. I'm in the market for one of those. So that's what I'm actually going to be hunting down on my main community. Um, but you know, I got the, I got a couple infinite rages, um, G18 customs, things like that. I guess this means we're really moving on. Yeah, so we're going to recruit Isaac. Sure? I think, yeah, I guess so. There's nothing left for me here. I can leave right now. Follow me. I'll show you our place. Okay. So now that we have Isaac, you said to go over to... Captain Logan. Yeah, I got a BFG and I I I think I have a Timberwolf also. I got a couple 50 cals on my 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 forever community. Yeah, I I I know that it exists too. I've heard of have a couple people tell me about it, but I've I've never found one. Is this as fast as we can go? I'm a character in the dark side mod. Shadow, I did not know that. Dad, I did not know I was a character in the dark side mod. It's pretty hilarious. Right, so right now we're trying to get both Vic and Isaac. We'll see if this works. Uh, do you like the, I, I like Warlord. Warlord's okay. I hate those guys. <laughs> get those royalties. <laughs> The, they were camped somewhere else or based somewhere else. Hey, over here. Thanks 
Thanks for coming out. I need to show you something. Okay, absolutely. But we should. <laughs> <laughs> okay, accepting this follower will abandon the mission. So, is this going to actually abandon the mission? Am I going to keep Vic? Is this how it works, Sam? Eric, I love you too, brother. How you doing? Okay, so then I'll hit yes, cancel that mission. I don't know if you've noticed this. The blood plague. Yeah, Isaac set back at our base. No kidding. Things I'm gonna show you. Let's just say they aren't exactly common outside the valley. Isaac, come in. There it is. I feel like you can hear me, even though you never answer. Please respond if you can. I just, I just want to know you're alive. No, I'm not alone. So now we'll be able to get both Isaac and Vic. Uh -huh. Love, we'll we're gonna have the full Heartland team. All right, so. Captain Logan wants to show us something. Now, as a player, if you're new to State of Decay uh, Heartland, this is pretty impressive. Okay, this is close enough. See that disgusting mass up there? That's a plague wall. Don't get too close unless you're ready for a serious fight. Is it, it moving? I think it's moving a little. Uh huh. The doc calls it the Check, next thank step you for the sub. blood plague evolution. Personally, I think of these walls as the reason my entire squad is dead. We shot it, we burned it, we blew it up. Nothing worked. Until the doc stumbled onto a neat little trick. Now, you've probably seen plague bloaters around the valley already. The doc figured out that these bastards held the secret to taking down the plague walls. Who's this doc you keep talking about? And what do plague bloaters have to do with anything? If you approach slowly, you can harvest the bloater's poison gland before it explodes. Go fetch me one from that guy over there. So I'll show you what's next. It's always so sketchy, this uh the harvesting. But I wish they brought this over to the main game. Allowed us to make the plague busters in the in the main game and use them against like it would it'd be awesome. It'd be an awesome addition to the game. Careful. Careful. Okay. So now we uh, harvest the bloater gland, and then you can use these to craft a uh, throwable, a pretty powerful throwable too. You manage to harvest a poison gland. The doc has a process to turn the chemicals inside this thing into a weapon. I just thought of something else I want to show you. Let's hit it before we meet up with the doc. I'm sorry. It sounds like you've had a pretty tough time here. Um, I'm on PC right now. We, uh, didn't anticipate this level of difficulty. So Captain Logan was a part of the original army unit that was sent here to take down the plague walls and uh yeah his team didn't fare very well it's nice to have some company the yeah this is the original map from sod1 so it's just the two of you uh-huh didn't start that way but we uh bit off way more than we could chew looks like the bridge is out did you army guys blow it up somebody did then our radios went down and we lost contact with the outside world. Things went bad in a hurry after that. Oh no. So that's crazy. The, the army or it had to have been the military. Somebody was trying to contain what was happening here in the valley. So once they, you know, probably these, these soldiers that were sent here to take out the, the plague walls, they realized what this task was. They were probably radioing back to command saying, hey, you know, this, 
this blood plague is it's it's ter it's everywhere it's spreading it's you know and once they got wind of what was going on here in the valley it seems like somebody in you know higher military command came and they uh they they dropped bombs on the bridges to isolate the area and then killed all probably jamming all radio from anything inside Trumbull Valley going out they're probably jamming it completely uh, so none of their their radio traffic gets out. It's messed up, man. I mean, I get they're trying to quarantine, but still. Oh, I was supposed to tell him I was ready to go. We'll see what's inside that. Um. We'll see what what's up in this container here. Look at that. You done looking around? So when do I get to meet this mysterious doctor? How about right now? Finally go no meet Dr. Hoffman. This valley had the munitions and the skill to take down both bridges. Somebody into a lot of trouble to trap a bunch of locals and a military expedition in this damn valley. Yeah. Hey, Doc. I'm back. And I brought a new friend. Now, Dr. Hoffman is, um, she's the one that builds up Cleo in the, uh, her and Isby are the ones that build up Cleo in the main Trumbull Valley map. Dr. Hoffman is technically military. During the outbreak, she was rescued by a patrol sweeping the area for high-value civilian assets. We're lucky they found her. The lab she runs has given us a lot of new weapons in the war against the zombies. You know, I, 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 cause they said that they were hunting for her in the area. Now we all know due to radio chatter that Danforth is actually close by here. Um, Ray Santos talks about how it, in, in the Trumbull map that, uh, a community left Trumbull here and went over to Danforth. And I think you can even see Danforth off in the distance, um, in this, in the, in the, in the new map. So the thing, the cool thing about that is they, they refer, they say, you know, Dr. Hoffman was rescued by a group of uh, people going out getting high value uh, targets. I, I was, I always thought, are they referring to Lifeline? Like, as she was one of the scientists that we reco recovered in Lifeline, but I don't remember her name coming up in, in Lifeline, but it, I figure, I feel like they were trying to like incorporate like you know lifeline into it like you know she was one of the vips that went around and were saved um during the lifeline dlc that look all the all the plague in the microwave all that stuff hello there I suppose all of this must come as a surprise to you. Yeah, he's typing on that air over there. Air typing, that's that's what we do here. Two years ago, I was working in a private lab funded by some tech billionaire I never even met. I was keeping my head down, trying to push out the edges of medical parasitology. The next thing you know, the world ends, and the army whisks me off to a bunker. And the rest is history. Oh, before I forget... Take this. This information will let you upgrade your medical facility to something less medieval. Among other benefits, you will be able to craft a special kind of plague cure that provides brief immunity to further infection. Good deal. Thanks. Yeah, those are the uh, advanced plague cures. They, they make you immune to blood plague for like five minutes. I know this is a lot to take in. The truth is, we need your help. The doc and I can't do everything needed to finish the job. You've proven yourself more than competent. I'd like to count on you to help us see this to the end. I like that idea. We'll be in touch when we're ready to take the next step. Awesome. Thanks for your help. I haven't got Chavez yet. No, we haven't even heard from him. Okay. Keisha is now a hero. They actually have stuff to trade. Good Let me see what you. she has to trade. You have anything you want to trade? Sure. Uh, so we can buy ammo, meds. 
the works. We don't really need the, any of that. Yeah, so this has to be brought back to my base. Um I got that outpost. We'll go we'll go drop this stuff into my outpost and then uh I'll do I'll I'll do Vic. This time we'll get Vic. If I could shoot it before it falls. Too late. We gotta start preserving the bloaters and harvesting them every chance we get, because we're gonna need a lot of those uh bloater glands for later on. Yeah, so this is the beta for um, the beta brands. Now, the reason why I'm playing Heartland on the beta is because the new the new infestation system actually affects the beta. Uh, or uh, uh, it affects Heartland. So when you play a Heartland map after the new infestation system comes out, at least from the beta point of view, um, the new infestation system is in Heartland. So it, it's really, really cool. It adds another thing for you to do, another dimension to gameplay. Okay, so now that we can, I think, put that in our medical tent, right? Yep. Get that upgrading. Oh, I can build the, yeah, I can, I can uh, build the plague annex now because we have Isaac. And we are going to need some more beds. Uh, we'll upgrade this. We're going to need more materials here soon. But yeah, we'll get this upgrading. Um, we'll probably go with... We could go with a Spartan barracks. Because morale is really not going to be that much of an issue. So I think I might go Spartan barracks once we uh, get some more uh, labor. That'll give us eight beds. Now that's worth scavenging for. No stones left unturned. Halo reaches the... I, 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 the thing is, is I haven't played Halo in so long. Like, I think I played Halo 1 like a billion years ago. My friend, just come and listen to what I ask of you. And then, um... I know I played Halo 3. Like when it first came out, I was so young though. I don't, I don't even remember it. But um, I actually had a viewer gift me all of the Halo collection. And I was like, oh, one day I might play through all the campaigns, uh, just to get the full story of Halo. Because I, 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 there's a pretty good. Does it have a pretty good story? So honestly, I, I, I don't remember anything of Halo, like at all. I don't remember jack shit. I know that the main guy is Master Chief. I hate to hear someone in pain. I'm gonna track that guy down. Slick, how you doing? All right, I should probably grab some gas. Or pushing on this. So, how do we recruit Vic? What do we got to do? Do we tell him? Do we tell him the truth? And that gives us the chance to um to recruit him. <laughs> Slick, hey, I really appreciate that thing. I appreciate that. Seriously, Halo's story is amazing. Hmm. Hmm. Tell him the truth. Okay. That's how we get Vic. Getting damn dark. I just dropped off a couple of things I found while I was out and about. Hey, it sounds like you lost somebody. Do you need help? You do that for me? For us? Thank you. 
I haven't seen my husband Isaac and we, we lost our daughter and he took it really hard. I'm, uh, I'm afraid he might have hurt himself. I just want Isaac to know that I forgive him. I think he should be up in the same location. Maxed out gymnastics. So what is gymnastics just a more high speed version of acrobatics? Yo, Aaron, I'm definitely excited, man. Definitely excited. Yeah, yeah, Vic. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to recruit Vic. We're going to recruit Vic. Yeah, this is Isaac too, right? <laughs> Isaac too. So I wonder if you do this. Can you just like recruit infinite amounts of Isaacs? Or at least until you hit the, the hero cap. To have a community of Isaacs. Please. I just want to be alone right now. Of course he's worried. He's always worried. I'm the one who got our daughter killed, and all he wants to do is talk about it. I can't live with his suffering anymore. Please, just tell him I'm dead. It'll be a mercy to both of us. And yeah, we got to get some materials. Gathering up every scientist and engineer it could find. Biologists, chemistry professors, grad students, anyone who might be useful. I was fortunate enough to be pulled out of a particularly nasty situation by some very brave soldiers. The next thing I knew, I'd been assigned to one of the science teams working on the Z problem. Look, as long as he thinks I'm alive, he'll never move on with his life. Give him this chance at happiness. So I, I really do think Dr. Hoffman was one of the survivors that sure was saved in the Lifeline DLC. It just matches up perfect with what happened. Um, and it ties everything together really cool. This new facility should let us learn how to turn the blood plague from... <laughs> he's turn... He's He's talking. Even though he's back at base. Woo, that was close, man. Ursula Hoffman is the Doc Hoffman from SOD One Lifeline. So that, that she, she so that she is in um Lifeline then? Dude, that's crazy. Now I now I want to go back and play <laughs> I want to go back and play Lifeline. It's, it's, it's awesome how they tie all this stuff together, you know what I mean? So we're going to tell Vic the truth this time. I 
Have you had any luck finding Isaac? On the truth. Yeah, of course he did. Because he knows what's best for everybody. He's so goddamn stubborn. Uh, any chance you're looking for a new recruit? I, I refuse to sit around and wait for that asshole to change his mind. Jurassic Junction, this is Captain Logan. It's time I showed you why I've been harvesting those poison glands. Um, so the reason why it says uh, it, it fits... Uh, Artie, the, the reason why it fits... Um, because we don't n uh, know her first name. At least I don't know her first name right now. Um, we just know her as Dr. Hoffman. That's all the game says. It's just Dr. Hoffman. Um, so her first, the fact that, you know, her first full name was in ha Lifeline, it could be the same person. You know what I mean? And we wouldn't know any better. Meet me over at Doc Hoffman's lab. What do you think? I know some emergency medicine, no. and I've chopped a lot. Yeah, I'm sure. That stubborn old jerk might not want me around right now, but I'm staying close. You never know. I'm gonna get on the radio for a sec. Isaac, I know you're alive, and that you tried to get these nice folks to lie to me. Sometimes you don't make a lot of sense to me, but I always know you care. I love you, and uh, I forgive you. For real, I ask you to do one kind thing. Nick, why do you not understand hearing you? Damn, Isaac's really... I, I had no idea he'd react that way. Just hey, Gerard, strong. thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate no it. My science team was assigned the name Echo Lab. Initially, most of the lab focused on anti-Z weapons with minimal acoustic prisms. After all, if the Zeds don't hear you, they probably won't chase you. My own small group explored undead biology. Specifically... The so, Dr. Hoffman's group was in charge of Echo Lab, which is all the suppressed, the guns with the built-in suppressors. Uh, so that's why they were all, lo those guns were specifically located here in Trumbull Valley, was because her unit was deployed here to Trumbull Valley. So, that's why you can find the Echo Lab weapons in Trumbull Valley. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Welcome to the family, son. Uh, Artie, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the family. I really do appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Max Gomez, what's going on? How you doing? This place feels like home already, doesn't it? Thanks. I'm glad to be part of the team. Nikari, how you doing? All right, so we're going to go. We're going to let Keisha rest up. Let's see. Who else do we got here? So we, we, we're we building up a pretty big group right now. Um, we will go and... Increase our beds. We're gonna upgrade to the Spartan barracks. Me as a if we had a good pharmacy, mm. I could keep us all in good shape. Before I do that, actually, we got We got to send somebody out on a uh, on a loot run. Uh, we don't have a whole lot when it comes to materials. I need at least one more bag. Just want to outfit these guys. See what they ha came with. Hello, Isaac. <laughs> Yo, they actually interact. That that was crazy. The fact that he actually said that. Listen, you be safe out there. 
hello, Isaac. See you soon, I hope. All right. Um, so I don't have any eight slots. We could switch over to a seven at least. A civilian vector. It's an okay gun. Switch over to Vic. Clearing those play cards isn't what do you want. Damn, he's so rude about it. Take it easy. What do you want? Kenny, what's going on? I really appreciate that. HPK45, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. I have to throw another seven slot backpack. Um, so we do need some bigger backpacks. That is definitely something that needs to happen. I believe Malik has a good sized backpack, so we'll send him out. Yeah, and we'll grab a couple bags of materials. Let me see. So we can get this abandoned containers down here. There's some materials there. Jose Albino donated $5. Dog, I didn't mean to offend your wife with the Tata joke. No offense meant. Oh, Jose, you ain't got to worry about that, brother. Hey, man, thank you so much for the donation. Bro. Hey, I really appreciate it, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure my wife, uh, she never said anything to me about uh, being offended. So I, I don't I don't think you offended her, man. But I really appreciate you. How you feeling today, Jose? All right, so we can get also materials up here. I think we already raided this location, though. All righty, I really do appreciate that. Right, relax, dude. So yeah, we'll hit this. We'll hit this one down here. This, this is right down the street. Or right, we'll hit this, and then I think we'll swing up into Spencer's Mill and grab a couple more. Hey, Jose. I hope you start feeling better, man. Plague zombies didn't appear for quite some time. Were the Zeds evolving somehow? Was this a natural development or something artificially induced? Questions like those kept me and my team very busy, I can assure you. Uh, Casp, it's because you got to think the, the people that uh, do it all the time, they already have the link and everything, so there's really... I, I gotta I, I was I gotta figure out how I could just straight like turn it off for a temporary time without having to close it completely. Well, Jose man, I hope I hope it gets better soon, dude. It's yeah, trust me, I've had I've had plenty of time where I, I feel the same way, man. It's rough. It really is. Okay, we got a bloater and a feral. Wanna harvest that bloater though. A feral. Go for the head. That will work. Shot. Depka, it might be a bug. Uh, we haven't got Reba hitting us up yet either. But Reba, Reba's usually over here near the Wilkerson's. I don't know at what point um, she pops up. Uh, yeah, so for, for right now, I'm, uh, I, I've am I've took down all my PayPal donation stuff. I'm having some issues uh, with a viewer and we got a bunch of drama when it comes to PayPal. So uh, I just took it down just to avoid any further issues and um i'll let you guys know when it's back up so everything just for a little bit i'm just going to be doing through youtube so if you guys do want to send super chats or donations and things like that uh you could just do it through youtube careful now there we go
I actually got to get some more bullets before we head out. Yep, so we got a bloater gland right there. I wonder if bloater glands stack. I'm not, I'm not sure if they stack or not. So we're going to keep that one on us just to see. We got this horde coming in right here. Might. Okay, looks like they're taking off. All that because I wanted a bloater. I am going to bring some fire with us and let's see. Okay, so keep the extra ammo in the trunk for right now. We'll keep the plague bloater uh, gland in there just because I want to see if they stack later. Let's head on to these containers, see if we can get some loot or some materials. Because I want to upgrade these Spartan barracks, but that's going to zero us out completely. These brogans are everywhere, dude. Okay, on empty. Should not have used that energy drink right there. It was a waste. And yeah, we're out of chemicals. Reva spawns uh, looted close to Wilkerson Farm after. Okay, so, okay. So later on in the game, closer when the plague walls need doing. While we're out, we'll also look for some chemicals. A lot of the places that you go for materials, you can also find chemicals into. As we researched blood plague, I decided that we needed additional field testing. I wanted to find a secluded region that would allow us to study how this contagion might be evolving in isolation. I convinced the men in charge that Trumbull Valley would offer an ideal location to test my theories. Yo, I didn't know. Did you guys see that? The CNC mill has the network symbol on it. I've never seen that before. They're considering it a network piece of equipment. Okay, so we got one bag of materials so far. Check the trunk. I'll stir it for you. Yeah, go get a clean one. Awesome. Hey, yo, cast me legit new logo, dude. They play Halo in reverse. <laughs> Better keep moving. Yeah, I might actually uh I might actually play Halo one day though. I've never been a, a super, like, before, I was never a super fan of, like, sci-fi shooters. Um, kind of just wasn't my thing. Mixing up a yogurt.
Uh, they added the uh, they added the network logo to the CNC mill. Never seen that before. Yeah, she, she we had those Greek yogurts, the Chobani Greek yogurts, and they're um they're like super sour. And she's a savage and she'll literally open up the yogurts. Oh, I need that eight slot too. She'll open up the yogurts, guys. Won't even come to us and she'll just eat it. Like, when it's all separated, like, you'll have the fruit and the stuff on the bottom. Then you'll have the layer of just solid Greek yogurt and then, like, the little water um, that sits on it. And I'm just like, like, every time she does it, I'm like, how are you eating that? All right. And then... That so we're actually able to get three bags just right here. No chemicals though. Nope, wrong car. It's just water. It's not just water. It's like the weird yogurt juice that. It's the weird yogurt juice. Once we arrived, it was clear that the isolation of the valley had allowed the blood plague to develop in um, unusual ways. However, before we could fully investigate, we became stranded in this area after the bridges were destroyed. Now the valley was truly isolated. Every living person here was trapped and surrounded by the dead. Oops, I wanted to keep that on me, but it is what it is. I'm trying to think if there's like a warehouse. Um, where I might be able to get a good amount of chemicals from. Hmm. There's a lot of warehouses over here in, um, yeah, you know what, we'll, we'll go on to this location, we'll loot it out, see if we can get some, uh, some more stuff down there. I can actually probably store this, though, I don't need it. Hey, keep up the good work. Let's get that Spartan Barracks building. All right, kids, here you go. You're welcome. Yeah, we should be good with that. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab me some energy drinks. We'll head down to uh, that other side of Marshall. We'll do some looting down there. See if we can get our hands on chemicals. The warehouse you take the Wilkerson's to has a bunch. I don't even remember what uh, warehouse that is. I think I've only played the Wilkerson side of Heartland like once. It's not yogurt water. It's ju it's like some juice. And it's gross. <laughs> People, it's just. Oh, the tr oh yeah 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 yeah. I know I know a warehouse you're talking about. Yep. I was the one we were just in with Vic. That yogurt water, guys. It's suspect. It's juice. It's some weird kind of yogurt juice. And if you don't mix it up, it's it's it can it can it can probably do bad things to you. I'm weird with things like that, guys. Ray's really upset that we're not helping him.
Yeah, you, mixing it up makes it okay. You can't just drink it by itself. Like, oh, could you imagine? Could you imagine opening up a Greek yogurt? Right? Could you, like, oh, uh, like, literally think about it. Like, could you imagine an opening up a Chobani Greek yogurt and just drinking the juice? Oh, you got to freaking be a straight up savage to do that. Like, you got to be a savage. Oh, man, dude. You're like john wick levels of sin like that that's so gross dude oh yo the strawberry grass that's what i'm saying i don't know how people aren't i'm, I'm super aware of my the strawberry grass the grass on top of the strawberry i make sure i peel that shit off you can't get none of that Yeah, the, like, yeah, it, the the same person who would sit there and open the Chobani yogurt and just drink the juice out of it is the same person that would eat a strawberry with the grass on it. Just leave the grass on there and eat the whole strawberry. Those are, yeah, you got to be the same type of person. That's pure savagery right there, all right? All right, yeah, so we're good, we're good. We're going to head over, see if we can get some uh, chemicals out of here. The carrot grass? Who eats the carrot grass? Soon after the bridges went down, we stopped receiving outside broadcasts. I still don't know if our situation is known to my superior officers. I expect they assume we're dead. Completely on our own, and facing a threat far greater than anticipated. I'm afraid our team did not fare well. We've located a potential scavenging spot. You guys are trolling. There's no way that it's okay to eat the, the grass on the strawberry. There's no way that it's just like, oh, you guys just want me over here freaking eating the grass. That way I eat it and you guys are like, ha, this dude actually ate the grass. Okay, then. There's no way. I don't want that screamer blowing. Uh, like, like, <laughs> like eating a kiwi with the skin on the fuzz and everything. Like, guys, I got a story about a kiwi, right? So back when I was stationed at Fort Drum, uh, we Crystal had bought some kiwis, and I was like, I, I forgot what we were making, but I was like, yo, I'm gonna make a. Uh, we were juicing, yeah, that's what we were doing. So I made a kiwi juice, but I didn't. I just put the whole kiwi on there. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't scrape the fuzz off or nothing. And oh my god, I literally almost went to the emergency room. All right, because I drank this juice that had the kiwi grass in it, and guys, it just did something suspect to my throat like i literally felt like i couldn't breathe like it was just so prickly oh uh, it was terrible guys it was terrible i ain't eat i haven't ate a kiwi since you gotta be careful don't eat the kiwi fuzz that shit will kill you you will actually die all right so not finding much in the way of chems here Maybe we're back here. Yep, here we go. Def oh, damn, it's not even... I thought it was on that. Shit, here we go. <clears throat> yeah, that's so I thought the blue tanks, but no. We got something maybe in this barrel here. Yep, there we go. And then we'll check across the way. We'll see if there's any barrels over here. Yo, drinking orange juice after brushing your teeth. Woof. That's, that also, you know, if, if you enjoy drinking orange juice after brushing your teeth, that you, you qualify as one of the people who sleeps on top of the blankets.
Yeah, I bet I could headshot that bloater there. Ooh, there we go. I should have a freaking suppressed weapon on me to help me get these bloaters. Bills fan, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. I do appreciate it. Well, today, it's Zombies. still pretty early in the day. Uh, um, nothing in here that looks like it will have chemicals. <laughs> Wide world said, I love drinking orange juice after brushing my teeth. <laughs> Savage. If you live in the southern hemisphere, sleeping on top of the blankets is a common. There's no way. Listen, I was I was stationed, I was deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan, right? I've been to Afghanistan twice. And it gets hot. It gets hot. And even then, I still had that, like, if I slept with a blanket, I, it, it was like a thin, thin sheet. You know what I mean? Um, but I always had to be covered by something. I just couldn't, like... And, and when I say sleep on sleep on top of the blankets, I'm talking about the like you ever see those videos where you'll they'll, you'll see like the person it's like a fully made bed like the bed is 100% fully made sheets are all nice nice blankets felt folded over and they're the pillows laying out right there and then they're just laying on the pillow flat flat on their back right on top of the blankets. That that's what I mean by by someone who sleeps on top of the blankets. I was gonna grab that other bag of materials, but I don't think we need it. We're already up to fifteen. You know what? Yeah, we'll grab it. We'll grab it just to, just to be safe. Vesna, I'm doing pretty good. All right, so I'm going to try to headshot this bloater. What is the, the way? The way doesn't taste bad, like whey protein? Okay, there was a bloater over here. Where the hell did it go? I don't even hear it anymore. The way is the yogurt juice? Ugh. It has a name? Nasty yogurt juice. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Oh, we got, okay. So as you guys can see, we have a, it's moving in hot too, uh, and it's coming to my. So this horde is actually coming to inf infest my outpost, uh, and that's why I told you guys you got to be careful with this new infestation system. You don't pay attention, it will come. They'll they'll snack up your outpost and all that stuff. So we're about to. Uh, we're about to eliminate this. I don't know if I have any mollies. I don't. They are coming in hot. Trying to see which way it's pathing. Looks like it's pathing around this backside here. So no longer is coming to infest. And hmm. Do we 
check there for chemicals. Uh, utility shed. Sometimes at utility locations, you get parts, you get scraps of circuitry, you can get some chemicals. Uh, probably not getting no chemicals. G generally in that uh, container right there, that orange and black thing behind us, but there's not lootable. Oh, here we go. So right now we're just spending the night looting. We'll help Ray out in the morning when the sun comes up. I like to... We're going to take on play cards. Why not do them in the daytime, you know, when we have good visibility? We do got this blue warehouse next door. We'll go check and see if we can get some... Uh... We'll go and check and see if we can get some uh, chemicals out of there. I do want to start using a suppressor, though, so I can shoot a little more freely. Not, not that it really matters, because uh, no noise isn't really too serious in Heartland. Let me see. Do I have an extra suppressor? If not, we're just going to go ahead and craft one. Okay, so we can't do them there. I know I can... I think I can get some here, right? Yep. So we need power in order to get the handmade. So I do have a Jenny. So we'll slap a generator in there. Let that build up, and then we'll craft a couple of uh, handmade suppressors. It's better than just doing improvised. I'd rather spend the if we're gonna spend the parts. I'd rather spend the parts on something that I'm gonna actually Looks like we're in the clear. use. Improvised suppressors are super bad. Yeah, there's a couple. Yeah, they do have a couple play cards in uh, Heartland, Caspi. Not too many, though. It's not like the main focus, you know. It's just they're kind of just there. Got the plague walls, though. That's going to be interesting. Uh, at least I've never soloed the plague walls um, myself. So it's going to be it's going to be a good time to see if I can actually. Survive that gauntlet. I'm pretty sure I'll probably get somebody killed. Um, electrical transformers. Can go hit the gun store. Okay, Spartan Barracks upgraded. Knocked our morale down. Actually, a pretty good amount. We went from enthusiastic down to cheerful. Jenny is. That was graceful. Jenny's installed. We'll go ahead and get that turned on here in a sec. My all-time super villain. Hmm. I would have to say Shadowborg. Shadowborg was just. Yes, I'm still here. It was the real deal, guys. Wow. I can't carry that much. Drop that in there.
Gabriel with the sub. Thank you so much. Looks like we're in the clear. Clean this place out good. Wow, that's actually a really nice handgun. I've never seen the uh, the P229 Elite that has a 20 round mag. I want to see what the oh wow that's actually a really nice handgun that's one of the better handguns in the game it's got a nice scope on it uh you throw a decent suppressor on there and, and boom you beat the game so let's go ahead <clears throat> let me see okay we got to turn the power on it's gonna cost what one fuel that's not bad Getting tons of rucksacks, too. It's just awesome. Yeah, it's a really nice gun. I've actually... Ne I, I don't have one of those for sure in my main game. Uh, there's also a handgun with um in the game that's... It, it's actually pretty rare. It looks just like this body style, and it shoots .357. Um, it's a, it's a really nice handgun. So we'll go ahead and drop those. Then I'm going to take the break off. Let's go get ourselves some suppressors crafted now. Yep, see, now we can do handmade suppressors. Well, we got the power on. I might as well craft two, right? I got the parts. Might as well craft too. So we can craft mines. Smoke grenades. Man, like, it's honestly not a bad idea to, like, fully max out a Heartland community, guys. Like, fully max it out. And don't beat the game. Literally just max it out. Um, max out all your facilities and then you can use heartland as a way to like farm up resources and send them to like your main game now you will need multiplayer for that because you have to drop it on like for instance you can craft scraps of circuitry in heartland you can't do that in the base the base game what you can do is craft up a bunch of scraps of circuitry drop them on the ground your buddy picks them up logs out you log back on your main community he logs in drops them on the ground for you and you could do that with so many items from heartland because you know you can't craft pursuit mines in the base game or military landmines like you can't do that uh you can craft c4 a lot easier there's a lot of things that you can craft a lot easier in this one so we'll go ahead we'll throw the suppressor around there All right, so I really have not got many uh, chemicals. Check this warehouse. I didn't yell yogurt juice. Ah. Uh. Well, no, it has a name. It has a name. It's way. Still can't believe that has a name. Yeah, I'm sure Floater. Find a ton of stuff in here worth bringing back. Oh, no, thought I heard a bloater. All right, so we got barrel here. We probably get some chemicals out of. Can we get a yogurt juice emoji? What would it even look like? Like, like, because the thing is, I would love to get some emotes, guys. Uh, I, I definitely am in the in the market for some new emotes, but it's like, what would we have it look like? Because I gotta send out like I like I go to the you know to to people that have them made, and then it's like, well, you know, I'm always sitting there trying to think of what. What do what would it look like? And then half the time the ideas I come up with are terrible. 
Later way. You get it? Uh, wait, I appreciate you hanging out, man. Jake, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, we got a 1911 here. I'll take the ammo. We'll grab that tacti honk. Jake, I appreciate you popping by. And again, thank you for the sub. I'm doing pretty good. Oh, there we go. We got some more chemicals there. Barrel. So we're going to be doing a couple streams today, like I said earlier. Um, the next one's actually a little bit of a... I don't know if it's going to be a full series, guys. So don't... don't uh, if, if you're not a fan of what we'll be playing next, don't worry about it. Or if you are a super fan, uh, cut me a little slack because... I don't know if I'm going to make it a full series, but I do want to play. I've, I've just had to bug, guys, a bug to play this game. I'm not going to say what it is. It's a surprise. So if you guys want to see, uh, come check out the next live stream we do here in a little bit. Okay, so we're actually able to get a decent amount of chemicals there. We can get some more energy drinks crafted up. So it only costs one case. And do one more. I'm not. I'm not too worried about the food because I'm actually gonna go hit this tartan mark across the street, get our hands on a, another bag of food. Caspi says he's a super fan. Here we go. So now we can get our hands on another. It does not have to do with spiders. No. I might have started too late. Whew, that was close. That was close, close. I see a blood feral. Hmm. Yeah, so he's just doing his. Hey, Jake. Hey, man. We tr we try our best, dude. We try our best, man. Pretty sure he's gonna come in. Got another bag of food. Sun is coming up. We're gonna go link up a ray. Yeah, so we got what, two bags of food? Bunch more materials, some ammo. We got a lot of materials. Now, I would actually mind grabbing one more bag of food, but I don't think there's any more food locations nearby. Maybe on our way back, we can hit the swine and bovine here in Marshall. But I haven't drawn, I haven't drove through that area. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, you know what? There's a food stand right there. We'll hit that on our way back. Uh, when it comes to blood ferals, the best thing for you to do, honestly, um, if you're if you're having a real hard time with them, um, just remember that they're just like normal ferals. They have the same attack patterns and everything. Um, and ferals' main weaknesses are shotguns because it doesn't require a lot of aim from you as a player. Uh, because ferals are pretty hard to hit. Um, as a as, as a player, so when you're sitting here and you're and you're dealing with a feral, just know they run straight at you, and you can literally just dodge through them and create space. And they will literally do this over and over again. So just get comfortable with dodging through them like this, 
and it, it'll put you in a better place. So that way, when you do get jumped by a feral, your your response is not panic and try to just get control of the situation. Like right there, you seen I just I got control of the feral. And then I just took the zombies out. Because if you're sitting there trying to fight a zombie, the feral, with a bunch of zombies in the area, it can be a pain in your ass. You know what I mean? It really, really is. But yeah, this is this is it. You know what I mean? So you can do this with the feral all day. You know what I mean? You can run up. You can start hitting them. Now, what you got to watch out for when you're meleeing a feral is they'll jump backwards. They'll do that. And then they swipe at you a couple times. As long as you're not near them when they do that, you should be okay. Right there, I got hit. See right there? You just spam dodge, and then you jump back in and keep hitting them. Um, but yeah, ferals, you just got to get control of that initial attack when they first jump you. Uh, if you get control at that point, you're good. But most people, you know, they panic. You just, oh my god, these ferals are on me, and you, you just panic. Um, but the feral itself, even if there was 30 zombies here, as long as I have stamina, I can... Just keep dodging the feral, shooting the zombies, dodge the feral, shoot the zombies, dodge the feral, shoot the zombies. Or if I wanted to right there, you could just start mowing down the feral with the shotgun. It's really, really easy to hit ferals with shotguns. So when you have three ferals on you, like multiple ferals, I even, you know, experienced players most of the time just get away. But, um... Ferals are very, very weak to fire when it comes, not like damage wise, but you can CC them. You can crowd control with fire. So say you have three ferals following you. All you want to do is look on the, throw fire on the ground behind you, get it flamed up. Cause the set, what happens is ferals run in a straight line. They're going to run into the fire and all of them are going to stop and they're going to start rolling around. And what you do is once they stop and start rolling around, you can either keep running to just get away from the ferals and escape the situation. Um, or you can turn around and start taking headshots as while they're rolling around. They're a little hard to hit when they're rolling. Uh, but once you get rid of one of the ferals, then dealing with two is easier. And you just keep rinsing and repeating. Uh, but there is an, uh, there's an explosive in the game that's really, really good against feral packs. It's the, fi the, the daybreak fire bombs. I'll actually show some of those to you guys uh, later on. Uh, I have in my main community those you throw it on the ground and it explodes and what happens is is it instantly knocks the feral into the stun state and then you throw another one and it blows up and it kills all of them so literally if you have three ferals you hit them with a group of that boom it'll blow up it'll put them all in the stun state throw another one immediately and it'll kill them all instantly it's literally so broken but yeah using fire uh flashbangs things like that things that allow you to just put space in between you and the ferals uh, but if you are in a lethal game, or um, another good thing to use is the builder tower uh, sniper support. Uh, that's generally what I use in my main community. Uh, you can use scent block to get away from them. But there's tons of things you can do. But when it comes to f straight out fighting three ferals, um, it's literally just a bunch of spam dodging, shooting, and 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 it's I I I, I could say there probably are players in the world that's good enough to melee three ferals. But it would be a pain in the ass, and you would have to use a lot of consumables in order to pull it off. Because you're just spamming dodge. Drop kick is good, but against three ferals, the issue is when you drop kick one, it's hard to get the, the kill animation off um, without the other ones interrupting it. That, that's the main issue with drop kick <laughs> against multiple ferals. Here we go. All right, so we got one more bag of food. We'll bring this back to base, and we'll go help Ray out. I know, Ray is so mad. 
I'm, I'm not trying to let him down. He just, I had other stuff I wanted to do, and I wanted to take the play her out in the daytime. Maybe we'll bring... Who, who, she, who should we do this? We got. I think we have to play as Quincy for this. How do I feel about the division? I've never played it. I played the division one, um, like when it, the the first day it came out. I played it for like all of like twenty minutes. I fought. I fought my first enemy that had like an actual decent amount of health. <clears throat> I shot him in the face. Boom! One headshot. You know, boom. And then next thing I know, I was like, "Wow, how is he still alive?" So I shot a couple more shots. Boom! Boom! He was still alive, and I'm like, "What the fuck is going on?" I just shot this dude in the face like 14 times and he, he's still alive. You know, and so I'm sitting, I'm laying into him full auto and, and like I'm, I'm noticing like they had. So the spongy enemies, um, that was back in a time when I was really into like realistic military shooters and it just wasn't that. You know what I mean? It was they were, the enemies were so fucking tanky. And I was like, dude, I don't want to have to sit here and shoot this guy with 1100 rounds before he dies. It just wasn't realistic feeling it, and I hated it. So I, I, I never played the division again. I own the division too. I've just never played it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead, swap over to Quincy. Um, but yeah, I actually wanted to try out the division, but I didn't know what kind of game it was. I didn't know like yeah, I, I it's like isn't it supposed to, it's supposed to be like a post-apocalyptic thing, but it just doesn't have zombies, I don't think, right? There's no zombies in it. But I think the division would be a fun game to play because there, I, I there's probably a lot of content in it, you know what I mean? And it being a completely brand new game to me. I probably have a lot of game to play, right? All right, so we're going to roll with that. That's our setup. Um, we'll go ahead and bring some C4. There's a lot of content. Yeah, I, I figured there would be a lot of content in a game like that. Uh, you know what? We'll bring some... We got the C4. I'll bring a couple stacks of fire. Extra nine mil just to be safe. I, I highly doubt I'm going to require all this equipment. Um, actually, I know I won't require all this equipment. Should we just burn the plague heart with our gun and save our explosives for the plague walls? Thinking that's the better option. So I'll show you guys the power of uh, a fully automatic. Gun. This is the only time you'll ever see me go full auto on a gun. So this has a break on it, right? Yep. So it has a break. Um, say we get to work on building a new facility. Let's go link up a ray. They did do a Resident Evil event. Yeah, that sounds sick. Okay, here we go. But does the division have like a survival feel to it at all? Like the atmosphere, does it feel like a, you know, like a, like a post-apocalyptic type of thing or not apocalypse. You guys know what I mean though, right? Does it have that feel to it or is it just like a military game? Elders, it's so funny. It's so funny that you 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 played it. Caspi's been trying to get me to play Dead by Day. Wait, is that the one, Caspi? Um, it's 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 the one with uh, 
where where you play as like the survivors or whatnot, and then you have the uh, the the killer or whatever. All right, let's do this. So Ray wants to go clear out. He wants us to clear out a play cart. Too easy, brother. I knew you'd come through. Thanks, my friend. Yeah, I did, I've never played Dead by Daylight. I, I, I've never even. I don't even think I've ever watched it be played. Um, I remember Caspi told me about it. Okay. Or something poking me in the face in my microphone. I have not found all the echo weapons yet, DNA. I found two, I believe. Yeah, two. Uh, once we head down to Marshall, though, there is a nice location where we can do some looting down there. We get this bloater gland. Oh, the division is PvP? Hmm. Or are you saying Dead by Daylight is PvP? Faster, old man. Got it. Uh, that wasn't that wasn't Dead by Daylight. That was uh, the game that Carol got me um, in Silence. That that was that was a fun one where I got to play as the monster. Yeah, we we did that um, we did that on my uh, on my second channel one night. It was random. It was random, and there was actually a pretty good scare in that game. It scared the shit out of me. There's a story and PvP? Is the Division story any good? I don't know if there's rare loot crates in Heartland, and if there is, I don't know where any of them are. Yeah, we're doing race quests right now. About to go clear out his farm. So uh, his his base got overrun by plague. He ran to our base. Um, we had to fight off a three minute crazy siege. And now Ray's asking us to help go back and clear out his, his homestead. I'm here and getting started. God bless you, my friend. Good luck. No problem. All right, here we go. If I take out the nearest plague heart, this should clear up. That's quite a few zombies here. So I'm going to show you guys. We're going to burn this plague heart super quick with this automatic rifle. It's very, very, very powerful with a break on it. I just don't know what room the heart's in. So we had 101 rounds. It took less than 30 bullets to kill it. So, wait, you're saying Dead by Daylight's cross-platform? Oh, it's not? 
Oh, cro- so Dead by Daylight is cross-platform. Mm. That's interesting. I always like to find games that I can play with, uh, with you guys. That sounds interesting. That's pretty. Swap heavy. that out. We're gonna sell some of this stuff to raise group it's here. See you again. Oh, I should have took the bullets out the gun. And I should have kept that eight slot. Hello, Quincy. You ready to do this? We grab yes. that eight slot back. See what you guys don't understand is I'm a, I'm a, I would be a dead by daylight professional. I would be a pro. I, I'm I'm super good at at at, the, at horror games, guys. Like, what do you mean? What what would you what do you so what do you expect from me playing Dead by Daylight? Like, what do you think's gonna happen? Because I could tell you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna I'm gonna freaking destroy that game. All right, so retake and trumble bombs away. Uh, travel to... We'll, we'll, we'll go talk. Yeah, we'll go do this. We're going to swing by our outpost, and we'll go do this. I'll look... I'll look into it. I'll look... We'll, we'll look into it. Caspi's been, uh... If I play it for anybody, it's going to be for Caspi. He's been asking me for a very long time. To play it. Uh, again, uh, so another feral example. Um, when it comes to guns and shooting them, um, the easiest thing to do is to try to put space in between you and the feral to line up a shot because they run in a straight line, like I told you. So if you go at them, you dodge through and you sp keep sprinting, like that gives you a lot of time. Even if you just take one shot at a time, right, and then sprint away. If you miss, and then dodge, sprint away, and just wait for him to come straight at you. And that's the best way to deal with barrels, like 1v1. Imaru, holy crap, how have you been? So good to see you. Whoa there. Go ahead, we'll drop some of that. There's also the pyramid head from pyramid head from Silent Hill. Oh man. So can I can I play as the can I play as the killer though? Like that's the main thing I want to make sure I want I want to I want to I want to bring the fear to the to the survivors. You know what I mean? We heard about some good stuff nearby. You want to check it out? I couldn't remember if Caspi said that the killer was uh, like an NPC that you had, or, or if it was another player. All right, so we'll go ahead, uh, we'll grab a fuel can, and we'll head over to, uh, check out what Captain Logan wants from us. And, uh, I don't think we need anything else. We're going to have to craft up some more fuel cans here soon, though. So I mean, if the if the killer is another player, there could be chances where you just get somebody like me, you know what I mean? Where I I've, I've never played the game before and I'm the killer. I could be like you could get some really bad killers probably, right? And then vice versa, 
you could get some people that are just absolutely rock star survivors. Oh, skill-based max making? Uh, making? Okay. So um, they're not going to put, like, you know, day one killer Brian versus, you know, 10-year veteran super survivor. Uh, so the gun that I have, um, is out there? your boy is, oh, Chavez. We got, I don't want to die alone out here. So we got to do that. That is Chavez. Um, how many outpost slots do we have? I think I got one more. We're gonna craft. We're gonna get an outpost really quick. I'm gonna grab a plate here for him. So yeah, we're just gonna grab an outpost really quick so I can get a cure for Chavez. Ready to go. And then uh, we're gonna recruit him. No, Chavez is a red talon, but I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys see. And I want to thank you guys for over 300 likes on the... Seriously, dude. Chavez. Yo, are you the evac team? Did Red Talon send you? Sorry, kid. No such luck. Shit. I am so fucked. I can't believe I let myself get infected. Now I'm too weak to retrieve the cure we brought in. You really think I can help? I mean, look at me. No more whining, soldier. On your feet. <laughs> yeah, I'm some fucking soldier. Yeah. Well, I gotta we have to bring him to the drop zone, okay. So he doesn't want my mic here. But tomorrow again it's so good to see you. I hope all is well. Let's get searching already. Last time I was here, I acted like such a badass. Like I was fucking invulnerable. Couple bloaters here. Shit. Oh, fuck up like me on a mission like this. Oh, good, good grab, good grab. Getting surrounded by the dead here. Oh, some. Some zombie red talons. Red tail and ultra light pack. Those are very, very rare. So you guys know. I'm sick. Are you sick? You got it. I'll remember this day, amigo. All right. So we recruited Chavez.
So one of the bloaters is gone. Might be able to get the other one. As long as Chavez doesn't shoot it. Red Talon Hiking Pack. It's a really good backpack, too. All right, let's see if we can sneak up on this. Got another one. So we're going to bring Chavez home. Andrew, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome. No, so this is an M4. It's a, oh, so your boy, um, yeah, you were asking about the, the this is a crafted weapon. Um, here in Heartland, you can craft it right here. It's called the Masterwork Assault Rifle. And you can also craft this weapon in the base game, but you need the, the weapon crafting station from the Trumbull Valley Bounty Broker Pack. Um, so if you got your hands on one of those, I think the Trumbull Valley pack is still available. I don't remember. I think this is the last month for it. Uh, but yeah, definitely go check it out. Try to get that. Uh, they're really, really good. It's just like the M4, the 100 round M4. It's the same exact gun. Uh, it has a zoom, everything. Um, but it's, you craft it yourself. They are relatively expensive if you don't have an engineer in your, in your group. I think. If you don't have an engineer, it's like 1,500 parts or something like that to craft. They're crazy expensive. But if you have an engineer, it's only like 700 or something like that. I can play as Jill? There it is. See, those are the deets that Caspi he leaves out. Damn. Nice place you got here. Welcome to base. Don't touch my shit. <laughs> know how much this means to me. Right, we're going to clean this plague off us before we head back out. I'm going to let this crew down. I got a lot of happy memories of this place. A lot of sad ones, too. All right, so we're gonna grab ourselves some more 556. Five, and the cool thing is I got a ton of base ammo, so we're gonna craft more. You no, know, join Red Talent to build things, not shoot things. Let me get your utilities up and running, okay? Okay, so now we got some survivors. You know, we could keep getting by without running water, but it sure make life easy. They're going to help out with stuff. So Chavez wants to build this right here, the utilities complex. This is free water and free power. Uh, go get that set up. As soon as that builds, we'll be able to tear this down. We'll have free water and power at the base. It's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah, Malik is in charge of this, of the farming complex. We, have, we, should, we could have upgraded this a long time ago. We haven't. So that's good. Uh, in order to get the kitchen upgrade, we need the game hunting. I think Reba might be for the kitchen. I'm not sure. You folks make it worth surviving the end of the world. We need drill instructor for that. I think that's uh, Captain Logan. All right, I just got to clear this little bit of plague off me, and we're good. Top off my stamina items. Oh, yeah, so now we can craft this here. 
the enhanced play cures. These are what we're going to use when we go to the, the gauntlet. I'm going to bring a stack of these. It's really, really going to help out. All right, so I crafted a few of those right now, actually. Now, these make you temporarily Im immune to blood plague, so you only got to use one every five minutes, and you're literally immune to blood plague, so they're, they're pretty good. Let's see what Captain Logan has to say. Shannon, how you doing? It's good to hear. Right, we're getting close. I think this is the mission where we learn about plague busters, maybe? What's next? Remember those plague walls? Today I'll show you how to take them down. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, well, we're going to go to... I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't think it was going to just be like this quick. So we're going to go up to our outpost real quick. And we're going to grab some explosives. And uh, it's time for our first plague wall. Now, I told you already that these walls are completely immune to attack. On top of that... We're surrounded by a toxic soup that'll kill you quick. So there's, uh, yeah, there's no way to copy a community from the beta to your live game, but there, it, it is possible to copy people from your live game and bring them into the beta. Yeah, but the other way, no, it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Okay, so we're just here to grab some explosives. Uh, I got some hand grenades, which is awesome. Uh, I will bring some more 556. Five, Ooh, salt. So I want a salt for sure. And we'll go sword play. Sitting on all these skill upgrades this whole time. Uh, see, the reason why I wanted a salt is so we can carry more ammo in uh, each stack. And I, I just don't use gunsling and I always forget about it. So the increased stacks uh, size is awesome. Bring some C4, and uh, I'll bring some of these plague things. We've got a lot of equipment on us right now for this plague wall. I love Grounded Bread. I actually am uh, looking forward to that series. Because, yes, we will be doing a series on Grounded. Hold up for a second.
It's like a plague heart, only bigger. There it is. Here are some toys the doc made with those harvested poison glands. I call them plague busters. Now, let's go see how they work. You see that red bloater belly behind the cloud? That's the spot we need to target with all our attacks. Go ahead and throw one of those plague busters into the cloud and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to pop one of these plague cures uh, so I could walk in the soup. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place down a C4 initially. Now, you got to be careful about what you're using for explosives because you can only kill these things one tier at a time. So you, if you guys see, there's three blocks of health. When you take one block down, even if the pl even if you do it super, super quick, uh, it's going to seal up and you're not going to be able to do any more damage to it. So don't think that you can go and just place a bunch of stuff and knock it down all at once because as soon as that that health bar is gone it's going to seal up and you have to do it again so um yeah definitely take your time so we're going to pop that see i'm not taking any plague infection i will plant that there be on full auto i'm actually going to switch to burst that way i can be a little more accurate and here we go see And that's how fast it goes. You gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be quick. And you gotta wait. You'll, it'll make a noise, and you can start attacking it again. It'll like crystallize again. Yep, we're good. We can go back near it. We'll do it again. for the kill. Blake, hey, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying them, bro. Thank you so much. Tommy, how are you doing? And this is it. I see a rare weapons case back there. Two rare weapon cases. This should be useful. Barrel style. Load some stuff up in the car. So those plague busters, you can use them against like juggernauts and shit, um, but it's very expensive to craft them. Now, unless you just got a ton of them, I wouldn't. I would save them for the plague wall specifically, because yeah, I'm gonna have to go around and do a bunch of. Uh, you got to go around and do a bunch of farming. So I think there's what four. There's like four or five plague walls that you got to kill later on in the game. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have enough to kill all the walls. The dock has and you need at least three per wall. Team. That is, if you'll have me. Thanks. Of course. It's nice to be part of the team again. Let me call the doc and let her know. Hey, doc, it's me. Just wanted to confirm my transfer to Jurassic Junction. Message received, Captain. 
I'll begin relocating operations to our designated overlook position. Understood. Logan out. Ah, uh, yes. I'm gonna miss that sunny, warm disposition. All right. How about you show me where I'll be bunking? Anthony C, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. It went well. That went well, in my opinion. Little brother! With the super chat, how you doing? I just want to be a cool kid. How you doing, bro? You guys will be able to see it before I do, Cassie. Does it still say 38.9? Yeah, we're definitely getting close, brother. Definitely getting close. So now that plague cure uh, immunity to blood plague literally just wore off right now. So from the time that we started that, um, that plague wall till now... That's how long they last. So yeah, I think it's about five minutes or so. Loader here. Mike, what's up, brother? <laughs> the tug <dark> sites. <laughs> Mike, how you been, bro? Wave the zombies about to hit us. You've done a pretty good job fortifying this place, but I might be able to provide a few tips. Nice to see some new blood around here. Thanks for letting me join your team. Mike, you talk about my uh my my list of survivors there that got destroyed. Here's Isby. Who is this? What do you want? I'm the person who can solve all your problems. All you have to do is come over and chat. So Delta Squad's fate. Uh, that's community goal, and then we have external goal, which is uh, Isby. Still no Reba yet. But yeah, we're definitely we're getting there. Let's see. So this is the community so far. Oh, there it is. Uh, we got Quincy, Malik, Captain Logan. We got we got Isaac, Chavez, Vic, Isha, and Helena. So the team is getting built up, guys. We are definitely getting there. Yeah, we had a. Um, Mike was talking about a community that I used to have back in the day. Uh, I, I named a bunch of like viewers and uh man that community got wrecked so many people died it was it was bad it was bad but we're gonna end this here guys um i do appreciate you guys for coming and hanging out and watching like i said we're gonna be doing some more streams today so hopefully i'll see a bunch of you guys over there uh the next live stream will be here in a little bit um try to start relatively soon i just gotta go talk to the wife see one time's dinner and stuff like that so um stand by for that it's gonna be a new game and like I said, I don't know if it's going to be a series, but I am looking forward to playing at least an episode of it. It's just I just had a bug in my belly, guys, and I want to play it. So thank you again. You all have a great day. Um, if you haven't on your way out, smash that like button. If you guys are enjoying the content, um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.